Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Karen. This is Happy Toes. I'll try to keep this short and sweet today. Shouldn't take too long to open up the feet, including the toes, the arches, and ankles. Um, build some mobility with some gentle movements, no experience required, but you might want a couple blocks and a blanket for practice today. And we'll start in tabletop. Those working on a harder surface or with tender knees might like to grab that blanket now, place it under the knees for padding. Anyone with wrist complexities will probably be happier with fists. Otherwise, spread the fingers nice and wide and parallel your wrists with the top of the mat. Exhale here, point the toes and inhale to a cow pose. We'll just hold this arch back position for a few moments. Try to let the breath flow freely, unhunch the shoulders, take one more sip at the top, and now flex your feet. Exhale, round your low, mid, and upper back. Move back toward your pelvis, and breathe here. Press down into your knuckles and finger pads, and release. Inhale, point the toes, arch. Exhale, flex the feet, and round. Look back. Try a couple cycles, allowing the feet to Stretch and counter stretch along with your breath. Meet back neutral spine and extend your right leg behind you with the toes down and the heel back. Start to shift your body weight forward and back until you feel an obvious stretch through the lower calf. Go forward and back a couple more times. We'll step the right foot through, knee above ankle, and now straighten the front leg and lift the toes for a couple breaths. This is where you might want to grab your blocks to bring the floor closer to your hands. Try to keep the waistline long and the gaze slightly forward as you square your foot. Now point the toes and adjust your toes toward the upper left corner of your mat, stretching into the outer shin and ankle. A couple breaths here. And come back to tabletop gently, knees under hips, palms or fists down. Stretch your left leg back and shift your body weight forward and back a few times. Step your left foot forward, straighten your front leg hands low, heart leads. Square your foot, toes lift. Now point the toes down toward the upper right corner. Try to plaster the whole bottom of the foot down. Final moments here. And we're coming to our tabletop position. Flex all 10 toes, stretch through the arches. Walk your hands back until you're seated on your heels or on a block or two. You can always use the blocks in between the ankles to take pressure off the feet or knee joints. Hands low, shoulders over the waist, broad chest, breathe here. Make sure your little toes are included in the stretch even if you need to draw them forward manually. And now soften gaze, visualize any internal toxins or impurities or even stressful and negative thoughts moving down through the body, away from the head and toward the legs and feet. As you exhale, visualize any of those impurities or stressors exiting out through the base of the feet. And try to stay with that visualization, especially as this becomes more challenging. You can always lower your hands, take some pressure off, and as soon as you're ready, realign shoulders over the waist. Pretty short hold today, just a couple more breaths. We'll meet an ankle stretch, hands down, point the feet and pause. Shoelace sides of the feet on your mat. An option to patter or just stay here. Adding on, walk the hands back, keep those toes pointed, hands wide and low, lift the chest. Maybe lift the knees, that doesn't work, just skip it. Otherwise, enjoy the added stretch through the front of the ankles and the shins. Two open mouth exhales, chest up. Trace your gaze forward and come into standing forward fold. Either hands on a block or grab your peace fingers around 
either hands to block floor or wrap your peace fingers and thumbs around the big toes. Spread the toes nice and wide, parallel the feet at least hip distance apart and sway your head gently, yes. Shake your head no, bend your knees as much as you need here to elongate your entire spine. And we'll start to flow just a little here, halfway lift as you inhale, straight arms and long torso. On the exhale, bend both elbows and guide your heart and head low. Then flow that again, inhale, halfway lift. Try to keep the weight in your feet balanced. Exhale, fold forward. So if your weight tends to collapse in or out, keep going with this flow last time. And just be cognizant of that. And for example, if my feet tend to ground more through the outer edges, I'll bring a little more awareness to the in, the insole, the inner line of the feet. Final moments here. And then we'll step back, down dog, hips high. I get the arms engaged a little, we can start to pedal out the feet, bending one knee at a time. A couple more breaths. Engage the underarms and have a seat. For butterfly, you might like some padding under the sit bones. You might like locks to go under the knees. And we'll guide the legs into this nice diamond shape, knees wide, soles together. I'll offer a zipper variation with the toes. So if you're um, able to reach the feet, you'll zipper the big toe of one foot over the other and then continue second toe, third toe, and so on. You can get a little tricky with the littler toes, just do your best. And that's pretty good, fold forward. Release your toes if you haven't already. Do notice which toe is on the top and re-zipper the other big toe on top. Might be easier one way versus the other. But those little toes can be kind of pesky, so again, just do the best you can here with the zipper. And fold forward. Hmm. Let's stay for a couple more breaths in butterfly. Hands low, unzipper, tuck the chin a little, and roll up bone by bone, seated head last. Windshield wiper legs, stand your feet down. Feel the space between the webbing of each of your toes. Lower your knees to one side and look to the opposite, then switch, and switch, and switch. Try a couple more at your pace. When you've had enough, transition onto your back with both legs in the air. Any discomfort here in the neck can always add a blanket for your head and neck. We'll point and flex the feet a number of times. Look at your feet and try to get all 10 toes involved, moving together, building some just strength, stamina, and coordination. Pause, hug knees to chest. 
And extend your left leg long and circle out your right foot, hold the thigh. Paint your circles in the other direction. And get ready for supine twist, big inhale, exhale, guide your knee across your body, stack your hips, cactus your right arm or reach your arm over your head and look toward the right. Release your neck stretch, release your twist. Back to center, knees to the chest, legs up in the air a second time. Now, if you wanted to hold this for a longer period, it could be a great way to quell stress and anxiety and to relieve fatigue and any achiness or tension in the feet. Um, it can help to relieve swelling in the feet, especially after long periods of standing or sitting. And just give the feet air time for as long as you'd like here. So nice to just feel the air on your feet. No footwear to constrain or misalign. A little bend the knees. And lower the right leg, hold the left thigh. Start to circle out the left foot one direction, followed by the other. Get ready for your twist, inhale, and exhale. Guide your knee across your body, stack your hips, cactus the left arm, or reach it back overhead. Gaze left. Start to release your neck stretch, release the twist. Come back to center for a hug or a happy baby. You might like some knee circles here. If you're in happy baby, you can sway side to side, massage that sacrum and lower back. And then find fall and bridge with the knees together and the feet wider apart on the ground. Rest your hands on the lower abdomen. Allow your breath to deepen. Think of nothing else but a long, luxurious breath. And either stay here or gradually stretch out your legs, feet about mat width apart. Let your arms flop away from the body, palms to sky. Make any other final adjustments for comfort and to ensure stillness. Visualize any impurities or toxins moving down through the body and out through the bottoms of the feet. Every time you inhale, inviting a feeling of calm and healing into your whole system. With each exhale, allowing relaxation and release. Stay for a few more moments, I'll bring you out. <sighs> Keeping eyes closed. Become more alert, aware of your surroundings. Feel the heels on the mat. The weight of your feet and your legs. Try to wiggle one toe at a time. Continue until you've wiggled all ten of your toes. Open and close your hands. Reach your arms back and bend your knees. Roll to one side, fetal position. Then exhale, squeeze your inner thighs together to engage the lower abs. Press down with your top hand. Maintain that core engagement. 
come up to seated in any position that feels pleasing to you. Join your palms together at heart center. A big, huge exhale. A deeper breath in. Sit tall and empty out. Two more cycles together. Inhale fully, sit tall, broad chest, and exhale. Inhale, let's lift thumbs to third eye center. Exhale, we bow as one to seal our practice. Namaste. Okay, everybody. Hope you enjoyed Happy Toes. If you have any questions or requests, put them down in the comments below. Let me know how you're doing, and I'll see you next time. Stay healthy.